Hello, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading "The Very Lazy Ladybug" by Isobel Finn, illustrated by Jack Tickle. This is the story of a very lazy ladybug. She liked to sleep all day and all night. Because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybug didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybug wanted to sleep somewhere else, but what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybug had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she hopped into her pouch, but the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here," cried the lazy ladybug. "It's too bumpy." So, when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back, but the tiger liked to roar. "I can't sleep here," said the lazy ladybug. "It's too noisy." So, when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here," said the lazy ladybug. "I'll fall into the river." So when a monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. "I can't sleep here," said the lazy ladybug. "I'm feeling dizzy." So when a bear ambled by. She hopped onto his ear, but the bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here," said the lazy ladybug. "He'll never sit still." So, when a tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell, but the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. "I can't sleep here," said the lazy ladybug. "It's too hot." So. When an elephant walked by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, thought the lazy ladybug, I found someone who doesn't jump, or roar, or swish his tail, or scratch, or swing, or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed. Ah, chew. And the poor little lazy ladybug had to fly at last. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.